It was a great pleasure. Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, and say that I'm very grateful to Raimundo and all the event to invite me to be one of the editors of the, the books. Uh, it was a great experience to, to put together a lot of papers that are really, uh, they have a real meaning together. You know, as, as I told you, uh, Raimundo, at, at the very beginning of this project, uh, to publish a book is to crystallize, is to put in words what is only in your memories, you know? And uh, we have done it. I didn't participate in PDP, PD, uh, PD, PDPUI, yes? Yes. I, I didn't participate. I participated of another exchange program, uh, one that was uh, programmed and developed by the federal government. But I know what you have gone through, you know, to, to go to another country, to face culture, another culture, to learn how to do simple things as going to the supermarket, going, doing the groceries. <laughs> It's, it's kind of strange when you are in another... Hello, Luana. When you are in another country, you know, uh, you you have to learn all over again what you do simply in your country. And for that, uh, we have some some authors that had, uh, had said, yes, I'm, I mean to do it. I mean to to publish my paper. Uh, we, we had thought of two books one in portuguese another in, in english and now i'm gonna give the for, for not getting so longer because i don't like to talk too much i'm going to I, I don't like to beat around the bush i like to be really i really want like to go straight to the point so uh here is the the the, the lineup of the people that are going to to speak the authors i'm going to say that their names you know uh, the first one to speak is Kelly Cristina Rodrigues Goulart da Silva. Uh, the second one is Mariana Rose Fonseca da Silva. The third, Alex Rony Oliveira. The fourth, Mariana Lourenço Ferreira Guimarães. The fifth, Alexandre Mori Martins Farias. The sixth, uh, Tatiana Pereira dos Santos. The seventh, Edina Maria Araújo Vasconcelos. These authors are all from the Portuguese book, okay? Now I'm going to say um, the names, of, I'm going to nominate, nominate all the authors from the English book. Okay, Edna, uh, Janaina Alves de Andrade will, will be the first one for the English book, Janaina. Uh, uh, Marineuza Soares do Souza dos Santos, Amanda Penha Dias de Araújo, Ana Carolina Guerra. Uh, as this... This paper, uh, there are three authors for this paper. Only one author is going to be allowed to speak, okay? Have to choose the one who is going to speak. Marineus, Amanda, or Ana Carolina. Alex Rony Oliveira is the next. Raimundo Nato de Souza comes after Alex Rony. Me, I'm the... <laughs> after Raimundo is, is me, they're going to talk about my my paper and to finish up to wrap up we're going to have uh, the teacher Alessandro to Santos Oliveira okay so let's start without uh, without uh, waiting for so long we waited for so long people wanted to share to put on your social media <laughs> and everything else yes. said, come on hold on hold on hold your horses because we, we need to wait uh, until we really launch the books, we release the books, and after that we can share, okay? So yeah. now... Uh, Neil, Nelson, just, just a minute. I, I'm just remembering when we returned from, from in our case, from Michigan State, we were like a flame, a fire. You wanted to do something to, to show the, the experience. And we we did a national call because we, this program have many, many, many people from different states. And we said, if you want to join us in this experience of telling a little bit about your experience, please join us. And we had this amazing author. They really embraced the 
the challenge because I, I call this a challenge. So many in a few weeks or months we did this 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 material and so I'm so pleased with the result we did. So thank you so much for those that believed. Thanks so much for the author that believed in the pro project. And that's mm -hmm. all. That's that's all. <laughs> Yeah, yes. And, and it, it's beautiful when we we see it came when we come when it, it comes through, you know, when we see it's not a physical book, but when you see the book finished, uh, I say, Oh, I done this. Oh, it's it's great. Okay. So now let's do let's do it. Uh Kelly, uh it's up to you now. You can speak and can, you have three minutes to talk about your your paper, okay? Welcome. Okay, hello. So good morning or good evening or good afternoon, I don't know. <laughs> so hello, everybody. I'm Kelly Goulart from Rio Grande do Sul. It's a pleasure being here. So the t chapter of this ebook that I've produced is part of my studies of my doctorate degree at Universidade Federal do Rio Grande do Sul. It discusses about the program of international cooperation CAPES. That includes PDPI. The title of this test is the importance of being of PDPI in the formation of identities of English teachers. It has the objective to show how this program worked during its seven editions and I participated of one in 2019 at Iowa State University. My conclusions are that participating of this program affects positively your teachers' identities in your practice. Other conclusion is the importance to increase the policy of numbers of participants to improve the quality of education in Brazil something that deals with the goal 19, uh, 16 of National Educational Plan E&E. &E. So thank you for this opportunity. You're welcome. Okay, next, next is uh, Mariana, Mariana Rose Fonseca, please step up. <laughs> Shakespeare used to say, life is a stage, world is a stage. The stage is yours. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Welcome. everybody. Hello from Salvador, Bahia. Uh, um, I'm an English teacher of a public school. And the article in this book is about an experience that I had with my students. We read a book, a Todd Spar book called uh, it's, uh, it's Okay to be Different. And then we made another book with the same name, and we reflect about our differences. We talk about our similar similarities. We talk about respect, and we make uh, and we made a reflection about what is to be different. In fact, and uh, the thing that I most like in this article is I talked with the students. I mean. The activity that I had made was in 2019. And in the beginning of this year, I talked with some students and they explained their feelings about the activity, what they learned, how they felt in the, in the past and how they are feeling right now. What the activity made them reflect about. So for me, it was the most important part of the the article. It's I'm I'm happy to to be read to wrote this article, and it was a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Okay, Thank uh, you. I was wondering why, why she was talking. Uh, now the 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 faces that are popping up in front of me. Uh, the, I only saw the names. <laughs> And now the faces are popping up, and I'm I'm really get acquainted with the people that I read only the names. Next yeah. one is Electronic Oliveira. Uh, after after everybody talk, everybody uh, uh, after everybody 
speaking, I'm going to show the covers and the books, okay? Uh -huh. I was Thanks. supposed to do it first, but the, the there's there's no problem, you know. <laughs> no, yeah. So we can figure it out that by the at the end of the cover of people telling about the yeah. production. Okay. That's okay. For well, Alex, Alex is here. If he's not here, okay, we can. <laughs> oh, Alex call is another, here. Another. Alex raised the hand. What's the problem, Alex? I think, uh, I think uh, he, he said he, that he has no access to camera audio. Uh -huh. Dustin, uh, can camera you please? Host. Thanks, Malika. Yep, thanks he's getting at it right now. Uh huh. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and it, it was very important because uh, I thought I I I think I don't know you didn't figure it out that uh, the event's gonna take this. This is scale. Oh, you know? uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Alex. Uh, Hi, hello, everyone. Come on, go ahead. Hello. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. The chapter that that is included in this uh, work is part of my uh, master's degree project, which I which I just finished, and it's about uh, complexity and language as an adaptive complex system. So to talk about it uh, fast, uh, before, before that, let me introduce myself. I am Alex. I am a PGPI participant this year at MSU. Had a great experience there, learned a lot. And during this time, I was already uh, finishing my, my, my master's. So complexity is the the phenomenon of interactions and interferences among many different, very different unities working together to make uh, something uh, work. And among these uh, unity, unities, certainly technology is a part of that. So language is a construction, is a complex construction of items working, heterogeneous items working together. And we bring this idea to ling linguistics through Larson Freeman, Diane, who also studied or been to been to the MSU, and Beckner, they call the complex thought in language, including the usage in technology as parts of the language as an adaptive and complex system. That's basically what we say in this chapter. Thanks for participating. Thanks for believing in our project. Okay. Uh, Thank okay. you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh, next one is Mariana Lourenço Ferreira Guimarães. Is she here? Mariana? I think Kelly is asking to be added as uh, a co-host, Dustin. Kelly. Oh, Kelly's already in the, the room. Yes. Let me see who is having problem. Mariana is here. Can you raise your hand? Can you mm. can you say something in the chat box? Uh, before we we start with the next author, I would like to say that Alex he he submitted two articles and. The two artists were selected, and one was in the Portuguese book, and the other one went to the English version. Uh, but different, different article actually, and we are pleased to have the contribution of Alex Honey, a former PDPI participant from Michigan State University, our sponsor. I'm going to uh, ask ask Dustin to to turn ta uh, Tatiana into a host, please. She's reading. Tatiana, her. right? Yes. She uh, wants Dustin, to... can you please put Tatiana? Uh, she's she's she needs to be added. I made her a uh, co-host too. Uh -huh. So I've, I've tried five times. She keeps declining my she's request to be a panelist. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. If you don't want to accept, like, I can't do anything with you. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, I'll make uh, the co-host there as well. 
Okay. Uh, so, uh, Mariana doesn't say anything, doesn't raise her hand. Or... So, the next one is Alexander, Alexander Muri. Um, Alexander is not going to, she said she's not going. Okay. Unless she's, she's here. So, next is Tatiani. Mm -hmm. Tatiani? It's show time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As the ring announcer, the you know the UFC ring the, announcer. The noun is... It's show time. <laughs> Call it the 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 other the other. Yes, okay, it's me. Here. I, here. Okay. <laughs> I, I I'm I'm here, but but I I cannot turn on my camera. All uh, right. Oh. I, I don't know why. It, it says that. Uh, the, the 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 host the just uh I I, I can't turn on the, the video. Just a minute, yeah. let me put you. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. All right. If you have a photo of her, can you share him on the photo? Well, okay. see the. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm I'm looking here. Just a minute. Is she? Mm -hmm. Okay, Tatian, you can start. Okay, we just. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, hi oh, guys. Okay. <laughs> yes. uh, hello everyone. So hello. first of all, um, I, I would like to say thank you everybody for this amazing work and the opportunity to be part of this amazing uh, work with a lot of amazing people. It was such an honor for me. So. Basically, all uh, my work was about uh, interculturality and it's um, empirical research about my experience in North Carolina, in United States of America, and uh, 2002 period. So I basically approach my work um, how uh, United States and Brazil uh, talk one each other uh, in their differences and similarities uh, uh, about uh, ha food habits, about uh, social and work relation, and uh, the, the the questions of racial uh, issues and how people uh, deal with that in Brazil and in the United States of America. Um, I approach the concept of culture and interculturality, and uh, I use the uh, uh, culture iceberg model by Edward Hall to. Uh, talk about uh, the, and as a foreign people in another country, how uh, I, I deal with the differences and how I try to adapt it to myself to uh, the stages of this in another country. So uh, first the stage of denial and uh, it was so hard to understand the, the habits uh, <laughs> and uh, the, the, the last stage it, it was uh, the acceptance when um, we embraced the other culture and we realize the importance to accept the other culture and don't see the other culture as an enemy or something bad but something good and we can interact in this these two ways so it's important to uh, like our culture and in the same way respect uh, the other people's culture. So the the main goal of the, the 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 article it was that it was so great. I learned a lot. Um, basically, that it was an imperial, imperial experience, and uh, it was a comp a comparative comparative study. Basically, that. Thank you so much for your time, guys. Uh, thank thank you. thank you, thank you, Josh. Amazing work. Yeah. 
The next one is Edna Maria Araújo de Vasconcelos. She's here, I know. <laughs> she was asking. Ah, yes. Vasconcelos. Malika is saying, oh. Yes. Given, given some, Malika, some yeah, applause. <laughs> Let me see the, the emojis here. Where are they? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, Anna, what's what's the matter? I see that you're saying sorry. Sorry for what? Mm -hmm. What's going on? Ah, uh, uh, he's saying that she can't use her mic. Her mic. My Jesus. Uh, her mic uh, is let's, disabled. Let's go in another another author. No video, neither microphone. Uh, mm, oh my reason. Do we ever try again? Ah, okay, oh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, that's okay now. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, now I can speak. First of all, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Edna Vasconcelos. I am a teacher of English here in Brazil, and now I work here in Sierra. So uh, hello from this distant place. <laughs> yeah, um, and I'd like to talk about, no, I, first I'd like to say that just as my colleagues, just the way they said before, um, I'm too pleased. I'm very pleased, too pleased of getting part of in this project. So uh, I'd like to say thank you, Raimundo, for being so great to me, to help me into and in encourage me to do that. So let's talk about the chapter that I wrote um, in this book. Um, I've been studying reading for a long time in my academic uh, career, and I just appreciate uh, reading and writing. I think these these two are both are so important to learning, and they are actually I'm fascinated for the for for these these um, cognitive process. So I decided to write something about this because ten years ago, yeah, do you remember Raimundo? Ten yes. years ago, I participated in this PDPI program, and it was just once in my life. But I still today I have um, such good memories, and wow. I and one is when we were presented, when we were introduced to um, uh, a kind of activity named the Freyer Method. So I decided to work with this uh, with my students in order to, to improve their writing because I am a teacher uh, in, a, in a technological graduation. I'm a professor that work with, uh, especially with uh, reading. Yeah, it's not language for communication, but it's language for a specific purpose. So um, it's a challenge to make them uh, speak or even, yeah, uh, improve their writing or another ability. So I decided to work with this because uh, the the Freya method is a kind of uh, it's a kind of mind map, you know, and then. Um, we decided to to focus on the on a specific um, category of words, yeah, parts of speech, and then uh, I work with them and make them to to. We all read uh, scientific articles, and they choose some words and they work it with that, yeah. So it was very good for them and even to me, because I could see their progress. They decided to work with uh, some words specifically. And then they they talked about the part of speech. They talked about the, uh, a kind of a, a kind of synonym or antonym. They could read, they could read, sorry, um, definition to this word. And it's all that, all this improvement is there. And you will see it when you read the chapter. So thank you so much. Thank you, Edna. Amazing. It was great hearing from you, you know? Okay. And the next one is uh, Janaina. Janaina Alves de Andrade. Is she here? 
Yes, I'm here. Okay. But, uh, uh, as the others, I, I can't turn my camera on. So. All right, no problem. This is. You can try it now. <laughs> See. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, now you can. Yes, you yeah, can. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, hello, everybody. Hello. It's a pleasure to be here with you uh, in this event. And uh, I appreciate the opportunity to be able to uh, publish the this book with you, with you all. And my chapter is reflects my concern as an English teacher. Uh, what I see throughout my, the years I, I'm teaching is that, unfortunately, public school students, they don't learn English. They, this is the reality. It's year after year. At the end of the year, they say, uh, I, just, I just heard about a verb to be, and that's all. So my concern was, what can I do to help them? And uh, I thought, the books, they don't help because they, they, they are produced to work with students that have a background knowledge, and that's not what we see with our students. So I thought I need to produce my own, uh, my own material so I can work with my students and see what happens from that. And I came across with the Corpus Linguistics methodology, and I was like, why not try this with my students? So uh, that's what I did. I started producing materials uh, based on uh, Corpus Linguistics, which is a compilation of texts. So based on students' interests, which was uh, pop songs, I built, I built this uh, corpus. And from the corpus, I produced the material. And I could check if the, the this new material would have better results compared to the textbook. And what I realized was that, yes, they can learn more through different methodologies. Because sometimes, sometimes we just judge the they don't learn English, but we have to look at ourselves and what can we do for them so they can, uh, have a better understanding of the language. And uh, based on this experience, I could notice that it's possible they can learn if we try different ways of teaching. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Amazing, Janine. So okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you indeed. Uh, okay, uh, now, the next paper, there are three authors for the next paper. Uh, Marineuza, Amanda, and Ana Carolina. Who is going to present? Who is going to talk about the paper? Amanda, OK. Hello. All right, welcome. Um, good evening, everyone. Good um, evening. Today, I'm, I'm representing um, also um, Ana Carolina Guerra and Marineuza dos Santos. My name is Amanda Dias Geraújo. Uh, and we all participated in the CAPS through Bright PDPI in 2019 um, at Georgia State University. And as our capstone project, we produced um, a didactic sequence. Um, this didactic sequence is in the chapter um, at, in the form of an article. Um, but uh, there we present um, four lessons. Uh, for about, th that would take about 15 minutes each. Um, the level is um, primarily focused on high school students, first graders, and our context the, the, of the context of the three of us um, is public schools in Brazil. Um, so we decided to focus on developing critical thinking and uh, mixing competences, competences of language and cultural awareness. Um, in most schools, um, they, the, the students are just changing uh, schools. They, they come from Fundamental Deutsch and 
they, they start to get to know each other for the first time. Um, and then we, we see them starting to group. Uh, and one thing we get a lot when we're consuming um, American movies, series, etc., is the idea of cliques. Um, this kind of social grouping, which is um, grouping is normal and expected in human interaction. Um, but sometimes we, what we see in clicks, for example, is when we have preconceived com uh, concepts and ideas that uh, can lead sometimes to stereotyping and bullying. And the, the, the idea for uh, the didactic sequence is that we, uh, when, when make them identify and, and question um, these stereotypes and see um, if they could bridge it somehow to their context, in, if they tend to do something similar and how they would be able to fight it. Um, so pretty much acting as anti-bullying. Um, so, and mostly they would also need to um, use a lot of adjectives and well, reflexive pronouns. Um, so th that would be also addressed in the lessons. And the, the final goal is to produce a, displays and exposing messages of um, tolerance and self-acceptance throughout the school. And they would choose the, the mean to do that if it's uh, maybe uh, with a mural or a video or something that uh, it would be shown to um, not only their classmates, but school in general. Um, so, Throughout the lessons, we have multi-skills activities, the interactive dif different genre, and it all culminates in producing this um, message boxes where, I don't know, um, whatever they want to, um, to fight bullying and stereotyping. So they would become more conscious and not only uh, accept be more accepting towards others, but themselves as well. Um, we thank you for this opportunity and we wish you a good night. Okay. Thank you, Amanda. We are thank we thank you for participating in the book to accept the challenge to publish the paper. Okay. Uh, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you indeed. <laughs> okay, next one is Alex again. No, Alex is uh, already uh, addressed his stopping. Okay, so now it's you, man. Oh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, when um, in two thousand in two thousand thirteen, we I participated for the first time, and in the University of Central Florida, and in two thousand twenty three, the Michi at Michigan State University, and both institution, uh, I was. Uh, I was confronted with the need to put uh, technology or think about technology as tools to uh, help our students learn. So basically my my article is about using technologies to help students to, to learn English as a foreign language, as a, as a second language. So uh, I, I addressed the topic, uh, selecting some, uh, tools that we learned from these universities, like Padlet, using um, the technologies, uh, apps that help students learn. And one of and I describe each one, and how teachers can use in the perspective of uh, learning, um, active learning or active methodologies. So the, basically, these are my approach to this article. Okay, thank you, Ramundo. Now it's my it's my it's my turn again. <laughs> your turn. Now it's you, Nelson. 
Uh, first of all, I'm going to introduce myself because uh, some people know me, others don't. Um, my name is Nilson Macedo Mendes Jr. Um, I've been teaching English for 30 years, believe. Uh, it's going, I'm going to turn 30 years in the classroom next year. Uh, nowadays, I work for uh, Instituto Federal do Piauí, Federal Institute of Piauí. And also, I'm a, I'm a visitor, visitor uh, professor at UFP. And this, this paper, okay, this, this paper comes from the, uh, an experience I had last term at UFP. Uh, UFP, for the, those who doesn't know, it's the uh, Federal University of Piauí. I, I, I work there uh, at the Open University. As a, a contribute there, I don't have a tenure. I'm just a, a visitor that contributes. And last term, I taught uh, um, a subject called uh, English language methodologies that had to discuss about methodologies, how we can use them to teach English. From this subject, uh, I published a paper. And from this paper, when Raimundo invited me to publish a book or to help him organize the book to, to be the editor. And he, oh, I need some, I need a, I need a, a, a text from you. So uh, as I'm, I, this is not my field of research. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm finishing doctorate in literature, but as I'm a teacher for 30 years, it's it runs in the it runs in the blood, you know, to to talk about this kind of of things. And nowadays, I'm more worried about. I'm more concerned on how we are forming our teachers. What's the, the importance of forming our teachers? Because uh, we talk a lot about technologies. How can we integrate? How can we use technology? But sometimes we we leave we leave behind we leave aside uh, what is more important how these teachers are being formed what what are, what is the role of the teacher in the classroom and this very specific in this very specific subject that I taught last term uh, I got I got in touch with a, of a, of a concept of a of an epistemology that. I was using without knowing it. It was path method, post method. It is. Uh, it is. It was designed and proposed by two, two two guys from India, uh, Karamal Velu and Kanaraja. Uh, what is what is post method? Post method is nothing more than uh, we have to integrate. We have to use what kind of methods we are we we need to. We teachers should develop our own way of teaching using a lot of methods. So uh, when he asked me, I, uh, as a former CETEC Nova participant, I, I thought I have to analyze, I have to, to figure out what is the impact of participating in a, in a program like that. And in one of them is to be trained in, in culture language. Because we have to be aware that the English that we use in classroom uh, should be relevant for our students, and the, the program gives give us this this uh, this idea, this concept, you know. Uh, because we, when you during the paper, I say, uh, as the, the the teacher became proficient in English and proficient culturally too he's going to be more and more able to develop or to tailor a program for your student according to its culture, you know? And that's it. Basically, that's it. You know, I, I, I go to what? I go to, to tell what we should do to form better our, our, our teachers, to train better our teachers. And this kind of program is important because uh, you you make your, your teachers think more globally, not just locally, but as they think globally, they start to teach locally. Yeah. Because he's he's uh, he's he's aware of the culture, and probably, for example, to teach about fruit, and what we're going to teach about uh, a grapefruit, 
I have students that have never seen a, an, a grape, even a grapefruit. So that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much uh, for your contribution, amazing work. Okay. Now we are going to see the, the covers of the book. Yes, and Alex is not going to participate, yes? Uh, Alex, no. uh, okay. as I told you, he already mentioned, Alex, you want to, to participate the second moment? Is okay. Because oh, we decided have... that, uh -huh, yeah, uh, every every person that has part participation, the two books, the books he spoke only once and he has already okay. spoken. So... Um, if I can show, just I'm a little. Sure the, the, we are run out of time, so let's yes, let's show the, the covers and. Okay, I'm going to show the cover, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, we are about to finish, and. I came back. Wow, oh. that's the uh, the first the, the the English, the, the English Brazil one, yeah. teach the English. teacher education development, reflections on teaching practice. Basically, mm -hmm. the, the 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 works here they are based on reflection on 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 the teaching practice and with with uh, some research in they are doing so amazing okay, work. Sure the, the, the table of content, yes. Uh -huh. Look, the, the the book is turn out fine, you know, and turn out beautiful. <laughs> yes, turn it out really great. That's great. Here is the table of contents, and you, know, you know uh, the importance the preface. of the PE, the formation of the identities, application of pedagogical material, teaching English vocabulary. This is amazing. Our amazing world, challenging <laughs> stereotypes, um, technology and language teaching. Interculturality, man. So the impact of language and cultural training <laughs> of the professional development. Oh man, fostering Professor Alex, and and it, this is amazing, amazing okay. work. Uh, I encourage you, each and everyone to access this material. They are going to be online, and we are going. To Later to yes. send the link for the participants of this conference to and access also, this material. Okay, folks. For we you. also we, um, um, we are also thinking of publishing it in. Ah, uh, yeah. In hard to copy, have the know? printout, right? The printed version, and to to get some uh, reward okay. for the work, right? And this is the sec the second or yeah, the first the Portuguese I don't one. Consider... <laughs> yes. Methods EFL e práticas educativas de professores do PDPI. Uh, so, uh, uh, é mais uma reflexão também sobre os participantes né, que reuniram as experiências. Pessoal, muita coisa bacana sendo contada. Vou oh, falando aqui logo em português. A Lara, <laughs> a Lara <laughs> tem isso. <laughs> Being told by our authors. <laughs> yes, Dusty. You better go back to English because some you people are. Just... Next, <laughs> next, <laughs> next uh, teacher education summit, Dusty is going to speak in Portuguese. <laughs> yeah, this is a challenge for him. It's a challenge for him. He's going to be speaking in Portuguese. Okay. Yes. Uh, Prefácio a importância do PDPI, né? It's okay to be different, sistemas adaptativos. Despertando a nova geração, empoderando. Uh, it, it was a great pleasure to, to participate in this project, you know. Yes. I'm really glad. Nice. And so I think that's it, folks. Só agradecer. Thank you so much, folks, for your participation. Now we, we close the Teacher Education Summit. Thank you so much for the assistance of Dustin De Felice, our, our professor, and our good friend that joined and uh, sponsored this this edition this year, the Teacher Education Summit. And thank you, yeah. Dustin. I ex please we extend have a friend, our- Mal Malika said that she's going to start learning Portuguese for the next one. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, Malika, Welcome. thank you so much for joining uh, join us in this 